when we had last left V. Push had finally come to shove. Yes, the ultimate plan to separate V from the biochip a uh, super construct of Johnny Silverhand that was invading and overriding her entire consciousness and being and entity and whoever she was. It was time to rip that shit out by way of storming Arasaka Tower and making contact and somehow utilizing Makoshi. Yes, a great uh, reservoir of entities and being similar to Johnny or whatever, something something along those lines. But it was not without the help of the Aldecaldos that she stormed the front gates of some super tunnel being constructed by Militech. And it was through there that they accessed the sub-levels of Arasaka Tower. The same sub-levels that were still contaminated to this day by the bomb set off by the very same Johnny Silverhand years and years ago. But now, it was time to... to get Alt Cunningham, the AI, access to, to Makoshi, so that V could press forward and onwards. This is Cyberpunk 2077. Welcome back. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. It really feels like we're at the end here, huh? <laughs> it feels like we're coming close to the end. This might be a long one, depending on, right? If this ends up being a really long one, then it's probably, this is probably the end. Well, I'll, it'll probably have finale in the, in the title if that is the case. Oh, great. V, V. She's having another seizure. V, are you okay? Hey. Oh, I thought it was radiation. Let's be grim. Short. I can feel it. Oh, we gotta hurry. Anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. Oh shit! Anything else in this room? Not one bit. You think it's serious? Take care of the sentries. Sure, silently if you can. We'll be here till sundown at least. It always like this around here. Nah, almost never. That's why I don't like it one bit. So they really just don't know? That's wild. They didn't even feel it. They're down here, too. Let's see if we can do it super secret silent way. I'm lethal. Oh. Oh, Panam. Well, that's that. Oh. Oh, is this supposed to mimic, like, the beginning? Like, our opening with... With, um, with Jackie, right? Now we have a new friend and it's Panam? Is that the idea? Huh. Okay, that didn't even occur to me. I guess that's what they're going for, because... Have we ever had this before? Where we had, like, the dual takedown? Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building. When New release through. brain dances. All units are on alert, which means instant cutoff of all passages. Let you like rats in the cage. Where exactly are we? Plant and services level, and it's where we'll stay if we don't disable security. Makoshi, a ways to go still? No, the lab is in the next sector over, but we need to get there first. Yeah, there's no way it's that cut and dry, right? And, and there's no way Saul survives this, right? I mean, there's definitely... There's definitely also no way... How much well, longer? I'll say... If Panam dies... That only happens if Saul also dies. Oh, shit. All employees are to remain where they are. there any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. Pathology of the Badlands. Okay. Better hope there's a port for Alt Shard, too. I'm sending you the shortest route. Uh, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. I can't believe they don't know, though. I wouldn't touch that door. Oh. Unless you want a horde of Arasaka elites coming down in our heads. Maybe I do? <laughs> Panam, I'm pretty good at killing people. I'm like really good at doing that. Let's do it. 
Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking rumble. I'm ready for a fucking rumble and a half. Ooh. Are these... Oh, they're like... Production arms. Okay. I thought they were part of like some kind of a Metal Gear. <laughs> and look at this. So far, so good. Should I just kill this dude? Do I have a place for a bod? Yeah, over here. Okay. There we go. Cool. Look, we can go up this. Oh, yep. Oh, there's another nerdlinger here. Oh shit! You want me well, <laughs> what can you what can you do? <laughs> Alright. Let's go fucking loud and proud, huh? Oh, I can actually run through that. Always nice when the vents are XL. Alright. Got some water. Pop this open. Can I, like, go down here? Looks like it. Hey, neat. Anything else good here? Arasaka and Ornithology. Three Japanese words to know. I think we read that before. I don't think it, most of these are particularly, like, these logs and stuff. None of them really seem especially relevant to what's happening. We'll definitely check them all, though, just in case they, like, stick out. Go. Honestly, I was expecting more robots down here. We get everybody? I'm too young to die. <laughs> okay. I probably shouldn't be taking these things because it really feels like we're not going to have access to any of this shit afterward. Let's see over here. Some weird kind of collar. Are these important? What really happened in Arasaka Tower? Maybe we should read this one. Huh. Or was this one that we already read? I'm not sure. If Militech was behind the assault on Arasaka Tower in 2023, and if there's actual evidence to support that, then why didn't Arasaka return the favor and nuke Militech? By now, there's no doubt the bomb was manufactured by Militech, but that doesn't mean they detonated it. I confess I'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the popular theory that Johnny Silverhand, the controversial rocker boy, was behind the whole thing. In fact, I'm not really a Johnny Silver a Silverhand fan. Period. Silverhand was a poser and a blowhard, not someone who would actually follow through on his grandiose bluffs. Full disclosure: I just don't think Silverhand would have the balls to pull off something like that. Let's think this through. Who hates corporations the most? Nomads, obviously. Remember that mass market BD called Badlands Raid from the 20s about a band of nomads who attack a Militech convoy? Well, guess when it premiered. That's right, on the night of the attack. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, yes, there's a silver hand cameo in there somewhere, but that's just a marketing ploy. A BD scrolled by a bunch of cactus huggers wouldn't sell for an any without a recognizable face. But I'm more intrigued by the main actress. How is it she didn't star in any other production despite Badlands Raid's huge sales? But where was she during the attack? Who who was the other star in it? I don't even know. Do we know? Five biggest employers. Nah. Not important. Truth about cyberpsychosis. Unimportant to what we're doing. Anything on this? No. How about over here? Are these relevant? Pain editors and mortality rates. Cyberware usage and side effects. Seems like it's just a bunch of, like, haphazardly placed bullshit, right? I don't know if any of it has any particular meaning. I think it's just there for... filler and all that, right? Okay. The false rumors circling Busan. 
that seems new. Right? We, we remember reading about Busan uh, on the television. What if this is like teaser for, I don't know, like DLC or something, right? Because I don't think we've ever seen this anywhere else. The false rumors circling Busan. Conspiracy theorists have recently been roused by news of alleged human activity in the ghost city of Busan. Our younger readers may not recall that the Korean city, formerly 4 million strong, was wiped off the face of the earth during the Fourth Corp War. Unofficial sources out there point the finger at Militech, whose tendencies of tyranny led to the creation and spread of lab-grown deadly virus. Accident, experiment, whatever the truth, the virus was proved so <laughs> virulent that the United Korean government still won't lift the strict quarantine on Busan all these decades later. So why did all these tabloid junkies and sensation seekers all of the sudden become so interested in the dead city again, 50 years later? A Seoul-based detective unearthed satellite image showing signs of life. Well, technical life, that is, in the form of active machinery. But no real surprise there. After all, Busan was one of the world's most heavily automated metropolises. It was a human virus, not the computer variety. Many of the robots go out of their work, their repairs, go out their... Many of the robots go out... Oh, probably a typo. Go about their work, their repairs, their trash scooping and sorting. These mystery sat images? Just some computers that never got turned off. That's it. The people of United Korea can sleep easy tonight, knowing Busan is a ghost town in the metaphorical sense only. Huh. I don't know, maybe we did read that before. There's nothing on there. Okay. So far, nothing especially juicy, right? Anything on this? This could be important. Ooh, messages. Automated message. Do not reply. Lockdown procedure activated. <coughs> Excuse me. From facility security system to Arasaka laboratory and manufacturing. To all employees, due to an unidentified threat, lockdown has been initiated for your safety. All walkways, including emergency exits, are hereby closed. Life support systems have been assigned highest priority. Remain calm and await instructions from your crew supervisor. Further information on lockdown will be transmitted in a separate announcement. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. The Tavajers case. From Takeru Ido, Ido to Reina Hirano, SYS. Hirano-san, the Tavajers incident will be handled by PR. At the present time, there is no indication that any information about personality extraction has gone beyond the walls of the SYS labs. The Department of Operational Oversight is working on securing our channels. But in the meantime, I suggest you screen your employees once more. I remind you that data extraction from clients' constructs cannot become public knowledge. Oh. Should any potential mishaps occur, we are prepared to say that Secure Your Soul is still undergoing testing and that unexpected outcomes may occur. But I need not tell you how something such as this could affect the public image of Arasaka and its initiatives. Most importantly, SYS is Arasaka-sama's proverbial baby. We cannot disappoint him. Send me a report of your security updates. That is number. That is your number one priority. Okay. Takiro Ito, Ido, Department of Operational Oversight. This is tied to what Mikoshi is all about, right? Secure your soul, SYS. Right? Isn't that where they're funneling all the, like, soul data? Do we know why they're doing that? We still don't know why, right? Huh. Yeah, and we still don't know why Johnny Silverhand, do we? Yeah, we, we straight up do not know why they fucked around and decided to make a copy of Johnny into the biochip. Like, why him of all people? Was it just he happened to be purely coincidental that they happened to catch him after all that? And they were like, well, 
Ha ha ha, I'll twirl my evil mustache and I'll put you in my new experimental thing, Johnny Silverhand. Is that it? <laughs> Let's see. Manufacturing level floor plan. Local network. Let me just turn everything off. Why not? Okay. Anything else here? Yeah, it just occurred to me that we don't yet have a clear answer on that. I don't know. Maybe that's something that we're not supposed to? Okay. Power shotgun. I don't know. It still feels like the kind of thing that you would want an answer on. And if you want something with, like, more mystique, there's better shit, right? Rewiring synaptic pathways. I believe we've read that before. It may very well be that the only worthwhile things to read are... Oh, shit. Are inside of computer terminals. Got some unique stuff back here. Take a look here. Nothing really. It is weird that there's this loot stuff here. Maybe we are going to be able to keep what we find. Right? I don't know. Given that it's throwing so much shit our okay. way. I'm here. Can I break these, by the way? Nah. No feedback. NC Nightlife. Drinks dancing debauchery. Eh. Anything else? Cyberware controversy in football? No, we've read about that before. Turn that off. Oh, shit! Oh, where did you come from? Gotcha in one, though. Well, that's that. <laughs> what made that dude decide to come out? Was it just me walking over here? I guess so. Let's see, can I go through that? Nope. Through this? Nope. Alright, fair enough. Well, there's another note thing here. Or data, whatever. That's the same thing. Alright. Let's go in through this. Oh. Oh, this is it! This is Makoshi, right here! Is this it? Or is this- no, this is just to get us deeper in, right? Alt, the shard's in. Yes. How much time do you need to- It is done. Well, I'll be dead. Hell yes! It worked! So we can keep going. To Makoshi. Your path lies open. Right, okay. Thank you, Alt. Are you certain? You good? I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. We're not going to respond to that? <laughs> to that cryptic shit? <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised all the all the televisions didn't change over to something, f like, eerie and fucked up. Okay. Like, I feel like we're totally set up now for, like, a big sun- Ooh. Oh, right, yeah, because alt is under control. I feel it too. Something's a mess. It's the hush. Does anyone else have the chills? Something happened here. We'll soon find out what. Mikoshi is near. I forget. There wasn't there another game where something similar to this went down, right? This is like a common trope, right? Where you install like the bigger bad, and they're like an AI or something. Maybe I'm thinking of Portal Two. Wasn't there like a big turning point there similar to this? I want to say. I can't remember the uh, exact details. It's been a while. All right, we got some more of these cubes. Dead. Their own drone turned on them. What the hell is going on? It's old. Clearing the way for us. I just hope we don't wind up being in her way somehow. Ooh. I like this. This is some cool shit. This is so much cooler than, uh, like all the shit we've been building up toward, right? Like the shit with Johnny and Arasaka, like specifically Yorinobu and Hanako, it's been kind of, eh, so far, right? Like the overarching narrative. They tried to make a break for it. She turned the car into a death trap. It seems your all takes no prisoners. What really happened in Arasaka Tower? Read that. Okay. Anything else? Oh shit! 
Oh, the camera, for whatever reason. Who's shooting at us? Oh, there's some people in here, actually. Gotcha. Let's see. Back here. Fucking hell. Oh. How come these dudes are dead? Huh. Weird. Anything else around here while we're looking? Right, we saw this, didn't we? It's from before. Oh no, we haven't been here. Secure your soul VIP clients. Oh shit, this seems irrelevant. Instructions regarding the recent disclosure from Lean Dirt to Vodgers. What is to Vodgers? Amsterdam, Netherlands, writer, liberal, liberal VIP status. <laughs> it's just so funny that it says it there. <laughs> it's a client of the Secure Your Soul program. <laughs> I don't know why that's tickling me so much. <laughs> uh, one, all names filed under the VIP category. Politicians, celebrities, artists with cultural and economic influence, uh, religious leaders, members of governments, members of the business class, or of Arisaka, etc., are and must remain confidential. Two, any disclosure of clients in the SYS Secure Your Soul program is a strategic decision by the board and Arisaka's PR department. Our priority is to maintain our current, relatively moderate, level of publicity and communication regarding the program throughout the media until testing is complete. Four, Information about the so-called additional functions of the program, data extraction, data copying, construct modification, are strictly confidential by order of AR-97223. Oh, so we don't actually get a list of the clients here, unless they're on this computer. No, there's absolutely nothing there. Alright. Let's see, anything else? Get some of that. Oh, look. There's stuff up there. Is that worth, like, looking at? Can we go up there? Have we been up here? Ooh. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, it's just sneaky times. Okay. Fair enough. Ugh. In the relic malfunction. Arisaka and Orinth. Nope, nothing. Let's see, this one? Rewriting synaptic pathways. Yeah, we've read that. VIP clients, just saw that. Any computers here? Look, this one? Nope, nothing on it. Sheesh. You think they would give me a, a terminal with some more interesting stuff, right? This is a pretty important place, huh? Okay, fair enough. Maybe more is coming. Let's see. Over here. Oh shit, whoa! The whole thing moves? Is that guy trying to... No. Okay. Let's see. I guess we'll go through here. I think we went through everything, except this. I think. Non-combatants. They didn't have to die. Hmm. Alright, you know what? It would be fucking cool if if here in these final moments, if Alt turned on us, or at least turned on uh Panam and Saul, because we're we're more important to Alt because of uh, the biochip and all that, right? And then Alt just, like, killed them on the spot. That would be fucking rad. Alright, take all this. There we go. I don't know. Alt, to me, is just such a fucking, like, compelling villain, and there's, like, a lot of potential there. <laughs> Alright, secure yourself, same stuff. Look, if anything, we're being thorough. Oh, look! Have we been rewarded? Diagnostic report 0714 from P.R. Chen to Ul Ulrich Klein? Diagnostics of Core 3 detected faulty calibration. 
which may have been the cause of recent problems with the liquid with the Jesus Christ <laughs> which may have been the cause of recent problems with the liquid helium cooling system as well as minor anomalies in construct data Dr. Kuroda not ideal but not a catastrophe calibration has been fixed and now reads optimal no further irregularities have been recorded PR Chen chief technical officer Regarding Secure Your Soul, from Lucas Barreto to Tamaki Kuroda, or Kuroda. Ms. Tamaki, for two weeks now, I have not received any word about the Secure Your Soul program. Yurinobu Arasaka, as well as several independent investors, have expressed significant concerns. I'm requesting an immediate report. Oh, Yurinobu is interested in this. Let's see. From Lucas, right? Okay, here, from uh, Tamaki to Lucas. Dear sir, our, encountered, our team has encountered unforeseen complications. Previous research into the use of using consciousness backups have produced unsatisfactory results. Oh my god. Can I... Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Dear sir, our team has encountered unforeseen complications. Previous research into the use of using consciousness backups have produced unsatisfactory results. After eliminating informational chaff and technical distortions, we have not been able to exceed 19% CE. The fact of the matter is, we are talking about using experimental technology for a purpose other than which it was created. What? Please take into account that we rely almost exclusively on the work of A. Hellman, plus the other fact that the head of the project destroyed all essential documentation has not made things any easier. Of course, my team is working tirelessly to achieve the 60% target, and they're not even breaking 20 yet. But when that will happen is impossible to say. I would also like to add that an increase in funding and staffing would go a long way to speed our research in a significant way. Regards, Dr. Tamaki Kuroda, Arasaka Research and Development. Huh. So what, what are they trying to use it for now? We just don't know. Files. Manufacturing level, floor plan, okay. Air conditioner off? Let's turn it on. Double doors, open them. Okay. Anything over here of interest? The Flowers of Silence, a biography of Hanako Arasaka. I think we read that before. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. Jeez, that thing is screaming. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Okay, pop this open. What we got here? Tamed Dragon, a biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. Right, just in case I guess we hadn't gotten the background lore on either of them. Oh, anything good here? Ooh, messages. Oh, no, wait, this is... Okay, this is the two of them. Right, this is the other end of that same conversation we just read. Okay. Is that you there? Could be. Force this open. There's something in there. The turret. Okay. It shows up red on our map, but it is not shooting us. Are we meant to use this? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Can I go in here? Is this thing gonna shoot me? It shouldn't, right? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Man, reminds me of, um... Metal Gear Solid 1. Alright. Let's head on back over this way. Let's see. 
right. And then... Should we check out this area? Or have we already? I think... Yeah, I think we've already. Okay. Let's just continue. She flatlined them all. They probably didn't even know she could cut through their ice. No mercy, it seems. Gotta remember what mercy is. To show any. Dude, this is so neat! All the shit involving alt right now? Okay. She makes for such a more compelling antagonist than, like I said, than any of the Arasakas, right? Especially since we've had the opportunity throughout the main quest to get to know her, right? And to know, like, background stuff. It almost feels like this would be, like, the halfway point, you know? In, uh, ooh, breaking, Saburo Arasaka dead. Have we read that before? But doesn't it almost feel like... Like, if we didn't know better, and that we hit the point of no return alert and all that, this would almost feel like the halfway point in a greater story, right? Like, yeah, all this other shit was just bullshit set dressing. Now enter the real, like, primary plotline of the game, and what's actually fucking going on. The rest of it was just set dressing to, like, describe why V is an important person in this, and why they should have any agency over, um... Or, ha or be able to have any agency over the main uh, throughput involving alt, right? Let's see. Breaking. Saburo Arasaka dead. I don't know that we read this. No, we totally read this. We totally did. Let's see. Anything good here? Messages. Ooh. Secure your soul. Medical report 11. 210. Thomas Bubenstein. 16 second cooling system out. Wait, is this just bullshit? We'll go through and see if there's names. Agnes, Vatri, David, Pucci. I think that's how you say that. Jack M. Stashak. Anne Marie von Gamroth. Lucas von Gamroth. Edward Lawrence II. Eva Ferryman. Michael Cristo. Yeah, no, none of this seems especially interesting. Oh, is this new? No, we cannot disappoint him. That's your number. Okay, yeah. Eh. Not what I was really looking for. Okay. Oh, wait, do I go through here? Ah, oh, you gotta scan this in. Look at this. This is so ominous. This feels like it's... It's totally like the turning point in the middle of a storyline, right? Few steps is all that separates you from Makoshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V, to the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. It can't be much further, can it? We have the room past the partition. Then we'll be at the core. <gasps> Ooh. Ugh, gonna puke. There we go. Is this gonna be like the radiation room or whatever? <laughs> we're gonna, we're for real gonna have to Metal Gear this? You can do this. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot about you! Oh, this is it! Eh. Interesting. They Damn, he's pretty easy. He didn't even start out at full health. Shit, okay. Damn, he is fucking fast as shit. Okay. <laughs> Look at him run! <laughs> you are nothing. And then just stay in cover. Oh. The path to the core lies open, but we don't have much time.
How come alt didn't stop him? Hmm. Yeah, we get a little talk here. Adam Smasher, I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. Gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, gotcha. Silverhand triumphs. Oh, decide Smasher's fate. Optional. You could spare this guy? <laughs> Why would I do that? He's so terrible. He's like one of the worst assholes we've ever met in the entire game. <laughs> He's fucking awful. <laughs> I guess if you're trying to do like a pacifist playthrough, I suppose. Right? I guess that's, that's one of the like points of contention that I have with like a pacifist playthrough is when you like very clearly spare someone who is just like the biggest piece of shit ever. Right? All right. Got some legos here. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> it would be nice if we could keep this. Also, did you notice on our map? This thing. Oh. Interesting. Judgment. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Wow, cool. <laughs> the, the shell's just like magnetized right in there. Neat. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I totally forgot about him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess he's our... He was our, like, big boss, big villain guy, right? Holy shit. That said, we hardly got any opportunity to build him up whatsoever. There were He showed up, like, two times aside from this during the, the storyline. I don't know. He definitely pale... He pales in comparison... To even, um, uh, the Arasakas as a villain, right? Hey, look at you, Saul. You managed to get the, uh, the arm. Okay. Panam, you got anything to say about this? I'm, like, slow walking, too. I'm doing an RP slow walk. Big time. Hey. No? Okay. Let's see. Let's keep looking around here. There may be something of interest. I can't even jump. Jeez. Okay. I can draw my weapon, though. Can I shoot? I can, but I just do this. It's a little desynced as well. Okay. Was I not supposed to kill him like that? <laughs> Did that bug it out <laughs> because I killed him that way? Shit, I can't even go up there if there's anything good. I'm just gonna assume that there isn't. Oh, look. Oh, wait. My thing came back. Oh, do I have to go over here? Okay, fair enough. Oh, no, wait. Oh, it's only near Panam that I can- that I have, like, full control. Oh, no, wait, no, I still can't jump. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't have anything to say about Saul. You don't look too strong. I'll make it. All right. Over here. The access point lies oh, before shit. you. Link to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me on the other side. Man, okay. I thought that there would be like a big twist, like we had to go somewhere else for the main thing. All I know for sure is Alt's bound to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this cyber John, so I gotta thank you now, V. Shut up and do whatever you have to do. Totally hey, reminds me advice? of Human Revolution. Just be yourself. All right. Access point operation protocol. Izanagi. 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 Let's give it a read.
Information regarding the location and technical specifications of Makoshi infrastructure is classified top secret. Requests for access to this information will not be accepted. Active authorization. Oh, so was the idea that they used the excuse of radiation and all that to make this like super restricted area, right? They just told people that was irradiated, even though it wasn't really, even though like they already managed to clear it out somehow with like some kind of science fiction device. Is that the idea? Huh. Active authorization level Kaizen grants access to access point Izanagi within Arasaka Tower, Night City. Are there Arasaka Towers in other cities? After prior session resignation or er, registration and express permission for said session, the use of Access Point Izanagi via authorization level Kaizen for research purposes additionally requires input of the grant or permit number issued by the acting head of research operations. All sessions will be recorded. Anything else in here? Damn, I can't believe they got cubicles in this room. <laughs> Alright. It does look incredibly ominous. Death of a mercenary. Unknown. Author unknown. Did we read this before? Quick enough, not I. Nor bold enough, nor agile. Tangled up in wires, like a nest of vipers vile. Was it I who fell? Or was it done to me? Dissolving, disappearing, with you I wish to be. Now tethered, clamoring, the restless swarm, beating in my ears a pale rage. No. Into the earth I seep, my life the sweet. Thorns sticks in my throat, a chill burns brighter. On to the end, what a thought, a huddled husk. I tumble for the dawn. The old certainty of youth is felled, and from its gnarled trunk memories fall forth, hours of hours, sharp and pressing race, embittered in a power-locked embrace. With you I wish to be, and so I go, down a road without end through woods half-dreamt, and the chill, bleached delirium of desire fought flies into trepid, trembling sand. Through the fog, your shadow sharpening. The storm tangles in me once again. To sway with you, like sweet grasses dry. Still, the glassy dust will not but rise. Cool. I don't really get it, though. <laughs> it sounds cool, but... I don't know, it sounds like someone longing for someone who died, or someone who died longing for someone who still lives. I'm not sure, I'm really bad at that kind of stuff, at reading that. <laughs> Boleslaw Liesman, Liesmian. Why so many candles? Oh shit. Why so many candles, these faces above me? Nor no more harm shall ever meet my body. Everyone is standing, while here alone I lie, grieving, feigning, one must be true when one must die. And so, buried under these wreaths of leaves I lie, solemnly, agelessly, solitarily. Death, gone silent, once again rushes to my head, though by now I know all comprehension is dead. How I loathe to become accustomed to this grave. To be what I once was. That is all I crave. Translated by Stefano Salsiccio. Shall. I'm sorry. Damn, they got an observation area? Oh, I can't jump. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that's an alternate area where you would enter this room, like if you sided with uh, Hanukkah. The relic. Why all the fuss? Should we read this? No, we've read this before. This is like a very early one that we read. All right. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. 
Let's do it. Oh shit. Come on. Lean on me. I can do this. I'm chipping in. Ooh, we're going into this? The coolant? Oh, uh, right. Of course we are. Hopefully it's just water. Oh shit. Are we at the be are we about to see Jackie? Is that what's about to happen? This totally looks like the same exact elevator from like one of the very first missions with Jackie. Is Jackie for real about to show up? I mean he was right? Part of him should be here, right? He put the chip into his head at the very beginning, right? He should be on file. Uh oh. That special cat. That's like a reference to something that I don't know. It's a Matrix Matrix reference. I think it, I think it might actually be. I don't know. <laughs> uh oh, there's two of them. Oh, just as though there were two people inside of V existing. Oh, and this is uh, Jackie's favorite spot, according to Misty, right? Got something there, but is there anything else around here? Don't think so. Oh, I'm naked. Do you see my foot? Ugh. I forget the significance of that. Was that the bullet that got took taken out of us that killed us? I can't remember, it's been so long since we got that from Misty, right? When she brought us to our apartment. Look at this. this is Let up. us go then, oh. you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one night cheap hotels. And sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Oh, you know it's bad when the AI is Treats reciting like poetry like or whatever. A argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Reminds me of the pyramid at the end of, uh, The One. <laughs> I don't know why I reference that movie so often. <laughs> it doesn't have any, like, additional meaning to me. It was just a fun movie I watched as a young teen. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be Johnny. Look at the pose. He turns around and he's got a scary face. He's got my face! It worked! I'm gonna fucking live. No, no. Gotta admit, you cobbled together a good plan. Been my curse and my nightmare, Johnny. But I do owe you one thing. Day to day, with Silverhand by my side, I learned to kick down barriers. Now nothing can hold me back. I can feel it. Is that so? Meaning you've made a decision about us. Oh. Oh, I almost couldn't even tell what this was. Oh, is this from, um... Yeah, this is our Street Kid opening, right? That's what this is. The table where we sat with Mr. Burgers. Want a word with Alt first? 
Where is the wench? Haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hmm. Let's go with this. You real? You hit me with Soul Killer? Thought asking? It was the only way I could fulfill your request. Jesus fuck. I'd like to warning at least. Been a construct for just a few minutes and already know it. Oh, that makes sense. Spot. Yeah, that makes sense. Welcome to the club, V. Right, so what what Alt would do to fix us is keep Johnny in his relic chip, pull V out, and put V into her own chip, and then pull everybody out of V's body and then just put V's chip in, right? I guess, of course, depending on how you read the situation with what happened to Johnny and Soul Killer initially, right? Like, you could read that as, like, when you get pulled out like that by Soul Killer, you're dead, right? And then so the V that goes on from this point would be like an artificial or construct V, right? Like a copy-paste, right? But it really depends on how you read it which I, I, I think is probably intentionally open to interpretation, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Actually, here, <laughs> we can hear their uh, explanation. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me. Exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer her psyche back into her brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. Hmm, right. Yeah, that totally makes perfect sense to me. If anything, that's, that's kind of ingenious. I'm surprised I didn't think of it sooner. <laughs> Alright, let's go with this. You two still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. I wonder why, though. Why would you have interest in gobbling up all these people? Because, like, you know, after five people or so, like, you get a lot of redundant information, right? <laughs> like, not everyone has that meant much of a unique experience, right? Especially if they're all of a similar social class and everything, right? I don't know. Like, especially when you could tap into, like, the internet or something like that, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the value is in having an individual like that to alt. Like, right? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Chris, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Hmm. But then, I don't think I understand that. Then wouldn't, um... So would Johnny have died if Johnny eventually took over V's body? Would he have fucking died then? I don't know. No, he wouldn't have. He would have just completely taken over and taken control. I think. So then wouldn't the correct solution be for... Like... <laughs> Alright, so... 
So just put put the chip version of V into V's body, and then and then have V get shot again. Have the body get shot and be mortally wounded, and then the new chip starts to overwrite uh, whatever the fuck is in there and becomes V again. Right? Problem solved. Or just put me in a fucking robot. Right? <laughs> Shit, Adam Smasher's back there. <laughs> Put me in him or something like that, right? Wouldn't that also work? Why why is it necessary that the body needs to live on? Right? Why is it in any re- why is it particular to the body if we're just replicating how Johnny went, right? I don't think I understand that. Or maybe that maybe that gets revealed that we're going to have to be mortally wounded. Let's go with this. Are Be in you denial. Absolutely. Sure. Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Oh, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. Okay, so yeah, yeah, if it's if the body is now Johnny's, we just need to get shot in a junkyard again. <laughs> and then the new chip will start to do the exact same process and will override Johnny, right? It's just like overriding data on a hard drive, right? <laughs> I, I don't know what the holdup is. All right. Okay, sure, sure. We'll accept this. We'll suspend our disbelief and accept this, even though I feel like I've totally... <laughs> I've totally poked a hole in this. But we'll we'll accept it. We'll suspend our disbelief and keep going. Alright. Everything. All, all, all we did. It was pointless. I have had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even going to take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Right. Yeah, it's very much intentionally vague as to why Alt is interested in collecting these... I don't know, digital constructs of people. Right. Let's exhaust all this. What's it like? Beyond the Black Wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just till we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. You don't know that. Certainly we found a way out of this. Jesus. To be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations, from the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No, be left with fading memories. Of sharing a bed, head splitting hangovers, sea breeze on my face, sun's heat on my shoulders. So no. take back your life, the six months you got left. Yeah, that felt way more in character for V to say. Regardless of like, like I think some people would be A-OK -okay with that, right? Like, I'm not sure I would have to mull over, but I think even I would be OK with it because it's just a different kind of, of life, right? Obviously, the part where you run into trouble is where you get like, I don't know, assimilated by alt. <laughs> that, that part doesn't sound too good. <laughs> All right. That light gives me hope. What is that? What's it, what does that mean? Did I miss something? Fuck it, let's say it. It's a blue, it's a blue response. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall, see? That's hope. Could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. Might also be an ingram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data, but an animal still prowls inside us. And its instinct to survive 
almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, but so is denying it. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know, uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Oh. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. Oh, that light. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Let's hear what Alt has to say. Alt, if you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What does that mean for me, exactly? Am I gonna become like you? As a Netrunner, you will find your way through a materially limitless world. Beyond the Black Wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. Hmm. Yeah. This seems like an, a very easy choice, right? Already, like, already, Johnny, like, it, it's us keeping the six months is in line with V's, like, whole way of thinking so far. Johnny already is more than willing to, be, to like, accept it. Like, yeah, I died back at Arasaka when I set off the bomb and shit. This is, this is your thing, kid, right? This is a very easy choice, I think. Also, also think about it this way. This, this is winning. We just got free extra, how many months did she say? Six months? Half a year? Maybe more? We just got free time, baby. Because guess what? We were supposed to die back in that fucking junkyard. That's when we were supposed to die. This extra six months and plus? Gravy on the mashed potatoes. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. Wait, what? Did I pick the wrong thing? But I can't do it. Wait, when did I say I wanted Johnny to have my body? I don't remember saying that. Was that during, like, one of his missions or something? I don't remember. Cross the bridge and enter cyberspace forever. Optional. Enter the well to return to your body. Hell yeah, we're going in here. Here we go. Huh. Oh, we're giving uh, given another chance. Okay. Now we're going to enter well and return to body. There we go. Goodbye, V. Never stop fighting. Damn, Keanu Reeves, hot shit. <laughs> Even though he totally is giving up, right? He could have stayed as a digital construct and hoped that V would find a way, right? He, he could have totally done that. I guess they didn't want to have to budget for Keanu Reeves across every future cyberpunk game if they ever make more. Up in smoke! With damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country. Serves you right, sucka! How's it feel to be oh, on your knees? Oh, I thought we were gonna get... <laughs> Worry not on wash masses. Our wondrous lives in Night City won't change much, but when do they ever? We live midst dust and chrome, and midst dust and chrome we shall all die. Now for some good news. 
and some bad news. We should listen Good to this. Is something like a sandstorm this way comes from the south. Weather guy says it stands to be the biggest in years. Should be a sight to behold. Bad news? Damn storm won't reach Night City. So seems we'll all live to see another day after all. Drat. Wow, I'm so surprised that the radio didn't mention any of the shit that went down. Huh. Oh god. Oh god, get me out! Get me out! <laughs> get me out of this hell! <laughs> Take me back, old! I want to go to cyberspace! <laughs> Anything but this song! <laughs> Fuck. Good God, what timing. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. How beautiful. Oh. Is that the bird from earlier? I think it is. And it's a little stuck there. See, this is like when we were playing uh, Blood Moon. Actually, you know what? We're going to take a quick break here. I'm just going to do a quick cut, but I got to use the restroom. <laughs> we'll go a little extra long with this. It feels like we're about to get uh, roll credits and all that. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. Sorry about that. Was drinking some coffee Coke before this, so. <laughs> really ran through me. All right. Hey. Why'd you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turning sentimental on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one time thing. I would help you, you would help. <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get him with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. It's surprisingly peaceful, I guess? I thought there would have been more like outright chaos with all the shit with Arasaka, Militech, and with Alt now having infiltrated all of their bullshit, right? Huh. Wow, this really reads as if, like, we had romanced Panam, right? They'll never find us. Can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel, never see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. Let's go with this. Used to think of it as my city. Street kid Bonded activity. together. I owned it. It owned me. Nothing to keep me there now, though. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Thought the city would help us see ourselves for who we were. Both of us. Yes, but damn it. It's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in and I lost everything. Almost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shithole something. We're getting out. At last. Placing our bets on something better somewhere else. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Let's go with this. Let's, like, really sound like someone in denial. I'm gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Vic's drug helps a bit now. Vic's once drug. we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. So yes, there was a time skip. Hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Or was there? Are we still the same V? Ooh. <laughs> huh. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V, get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. 
Damn. Yeah, Panam, I'll never forget that stationary bird stuck there like that. Over Mega Building Number 7. Really means something to me. All night, city. Good night and good luck. Wow. Alright. I guess we're gonna cut to credits. Ooh. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were about to go straight into the dam. <laughs> Oh. Nobu Arasaka confirmed that his sis, Hanako, was among the victims. Oh. It seems we've got a change of Yo, he killed her too, huh? Soaked in the usual gallons of blood, sweat, and tears, of course. This is rot. I've heard enough. Interesting. How much time has passed? Huh. But that said, is it so bad if Yuri Nobu is like the head? Based on his past. Our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other Like he sounds like a minor NR improvement over Hanako. If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Just realize, here I am, clepping from Arasaka again. Don't you worry. We'll pass right under the bastards' noses. We better. New beginnings can be rough. Don't you know it. Are we actually gonna go do this? There is one thing I will miss about Night City. <laughs> I think, I think we might. The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. <clears throat> Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Yeah, I wonder what they do eat. Right? Because most... Didn't we hear in, like, a report or something that most wild animals are gone? I wonder if I'll miss Night City, too. You won't miss the Night City you imagined was there. A city of endless potential. Endless possibilities. The city that was a lie. We'll Meta. It wow, fuck. <laughs> Even the memories of MC. Good God. <laughs> what fucking meta commentary on the entirety of it. Jesus. All right. How did we get back out here through everything? I would have thought that once we broke in through all that stuff, like security would be just like outrageous, right? Like, how did Panam get us? Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Got it, or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable. Weeks? It would have been the end of him if not for Weeks have passed. Toughened, made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Yo, what Am if I none know. of this is real? Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. We're literally, like, riding off into the sunset. What if all this is, like, some kind of fucked up construct from Even alt? The air conditioning. It's that storm. Or maybe being I'm just being close. too hopeful because I'm so compelled by alt as, as an antagonist. Huh. Man, I can't believe Mitch lived. I guess we got both of the, like, most interesting... Aldecaldos members still alive, right? <laughs> the two most developed of them. Fair enough, I guess. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Oop. Oh, hey. Oh, thank goodness we kept the tank. Surprised it made it. Oh, hey. Cassidy. Hey, Mitch. Hey, 
Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laden in place? They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Is it Judy? Hey. V, oh, I thought he, be <laughs> I almost said he didn't have anything to say. I was about to say something. Okay. You look like shit. Do the great outdoors truly serve you so poorly? <laughs> Can always count on getting complimented when you're around. Seems the great outdoors and fresh air have done you a lot of good, old man. Kept you spry. It's not the air. It's just been one conviction. It lets me fall asleep like a babe come nightfall. And wake up with a clean conscience with the dawn. Is that one of his traits that he's been insulting us a lot? I never even picked up on that. We nomads choose who to make our family. And choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. It doesn't matter what happens, what will happen. Within this family, nobody turns their back on you. You understand? I do. Believe I always did. Now you had better ready yourself. We've got a border to cross and a storm to run from. It's a hell of a lot for one day. All right. Sure. Let's go over here. What have we got? Oh. We'll hold off on talking to them. There's another Lego here. Brain Dance Club in Chicago oh. ages ago. But I didn't edit them. No, we'd get the ready mades. We just jack the dopamine wear on the Johns and Janes. Like when they put the new laws through. Wonder if I'll miss it. Wow, it is Judy. Holy shit. Man. Several Legos there. Oh we got the Iliad. For my mother, the goddess, silver-footed Thetis, telleth me that two-fold fates are bearing me toward the doom of death. If I abide here in war with the city of the Trojans, then lost is my home return. But my renown shall be imperishable. But if I return home to my dear native land, lost, then, is my glorious renown. Yet shall my life long endure. Neither shall the doom of death come soon upon me. I, and I, would counsel you others also to sail back to your homes, seeing there is no more hope that ye shall win the goal of steep Ilios. Homer. Do you think three, three, <laughs> no, four bits of poetry are a bit much? <laughs> Do you feel like we're in, like, Going up your own ass territory now. <laughs> All right, over here. V, you're here. <laughs> Look, you guys hanging out together because you got matching haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> Jude, you made it. I doubted you would come. Jeez. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Yet here I am. Disappointed? That remains to be seen, child. Jeez, does Carol, like, hate us or something? Is it, has she not forgiven us after we, like, fried her equipment? V, get it together. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave you girls to it. Everything all right? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. Thought, any moment now I'll feel safe. Even comfy.
You'll find your place, where you really belong now. Only say that because you've already found it. I say it because I know you will too. So why the hell do I feel like I'm running away? It's betrayal, you sense. Feels like you're betraying it and somehow the city knows and it stands in judgment. Yeah, it's like I want to leave, but it's pulling me back in. Like it's got another sweet, sweet promise just for me. Empty, Judy. All of them. But we hold the cards now. You know, I used to mark time in stages. One juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time, I thought I found a home. And every damn time, I came away disappointed. Life in Night City in a nutshell, I'd say. I know that now. Didn't have any doubts about leaving, you know? I gotta go. And find something new, more lasting. For yourself, for us. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be all right. If I can be sure of anything now, it's that. Feel better already. Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. <sighs> yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay, I'll be waiting right here. Wow, that was really good. Oh my gosh, I thought that was that hand that was handled very well. Right? Holy shit! And also, we look at this. Hey, is this not evidence enough of my theory that it would have been really cool? If, like, the side characters that got very well developed, like, for example, Judy, continued to show up through the story and got to ad interact with other aspects of it, right? Being able to see Judy brush up against the nomads and shit like that, isn't that really cool? See, we could imagine an entire game where shit like that goes on, right? I don't know, just interactions between different people and groups. All right. Rather than, rather than at all, you know, being kind of self-contained. You have anything else to say here, Carol? Judy? Nah. Alright, fair enough. Anything else around here that we should look at? Um, I don't think so. Anything on top of this building? Huh, there is. Common item component. Okay. Sure. Let's head on over. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. Alright. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Tunnel? You never mentioned a tunnel. You never asked. It wasn't easy to find after all these years. Thankfully, it's still open. Nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol, heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, 
We call the shots, right? We know the roads like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. Hmm. All right. Where's everyone else riding? Their own cars, I guess. Okay. Oh, up we go. Man, stealing this thing has really paid off. <laughs> right. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. Are you required to steal this in order to progress through the story? I, I can't even remember. You got it. Oop. There we go. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. I'm glad we're doing this. Meaning, waving? Mm-hmm. Said goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. Almost all were sure I'd flake back out. Even started a pool, you know? About me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them. More times than they'd care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some eddies. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? A flight out of Night City to Bliss. Dreamed about what we'd do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Man, Haboob's really rolling in now. But yeah, I guess we did get one more Haboob. <laughs> right? Sure. You ready? Been ready always. Then hit it! Home stretch! Full speed ahead! Ooh, jeez. Oh, right, yeah, we go through this one. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Good luck, kids. See you on the other side. It's surreal that these mega corporations weren't able to track us down after everything. Not only have the tank, but also after storming Thanks both of their organizations, like bases of op well, not bases, but places of operation. Well, for Arasaka, their base. You know, like I said, it kind of leads me to believe that this isn't real, right? Start her up. Like we're literally Let's driving see. off into the sunset Let's for a happily ever after. Ooh, ooh, god, ooh, god. Exactly what you wanted. A new beginning. Ooh. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. Can I shoot? No. <laughs> Hey, I remember tunnels like these from, uh, I forgot which one it was, but from one of the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> I totally remember this, them zooming through this shit. I think there was a lot of, uh, CGI cars involved. Fuck. Oh, shit. It's dark? How long did we go through that? Oh, shit. Is this the first time the camera's ever cut from first person? And we're wearing our Nomad's jacket. Where are we? Yeah, we've got the nitro going. We're just like... What am I looking at? Is this water? We're like... I don't know. It's like there's no ground.
Yeah, we're totally like on autopilot now. I guess it's just hard to tell because, you know, <laughs> our hair and stuff isn't really moving around. Jeez, you would think that I romance Panam. <laughs> Judy, don't look. <laughs> don't look, Judy. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Hmm. And then credits roll. Oh. Good evening, Night City. We begin with uh we begin tonight with with a look at the stock market, as always. Oh, that's the um. Another attack on Arasaka's Night City HQ. This is the load screen audio from before. Goliath has plummeted by 17 percent, and we should expect that slide to continue. Say, analysts. Yeah, let's just continue. This is like if you loaded into your game, you would get that audio. Oh, hey. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. I liked him so much it would have been cool if they killed him. V. <laughs> right? Is it true what they say? Like you V got him in deep shit. Dirt with the Altecaldos? Have you lost your mind, Mija? Whoa! Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loca, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. Oh my god, I thought we ended on good terms with her. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. Wait. If you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Take care, V. Okay, that seems... That's him. Oh hey. my god! <laughs> Whoa! I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> you know me. I get... mushy when it comes to sharing... feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just... Where even are you, Judy? <laughs> v... I just wanted you to know that I'm happy for the first time in my life. And I wanted to speak of the devil. Oh, we were supposed to have a line there, but didn't play. V was supposed to say something right there. Weird. It had the subtitle. V. Though. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out these of These are line. like our ending slides, but right? Hey, Giving us closure it. on all these characters. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. Just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey. Oh, okay. right. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. 
We what? didn't tell her? That he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, Pete, so funny thing just said, oh, fuck, fuck sake, voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <laughs> what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fine. So, man, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Bye! I like Carrie. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. I don't, so I don't really like River. <laughs> He's definitely my least favorite of all the romance options. I don't know, just something about him. It, it didn't. Uh, it didn't hit on the. All this stuff. It didn't charm me the same way I, any of the other characters did. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Oh. Oh shit! That is cool. I don't want to hear this. But first, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay. So my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got a man alive. Ooh, this happen. is fucked up, but and I love this okay. kind of an ending for him. But how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to delete this message. Fuck, I like that. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. <laughs> Fuck. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but yeah, uh -huh. we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. All right. Last of them. Yeah, I would have thought that, um... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I would have thought that... Or it would have been cool if, like, everyone that V met along the way ended up getting, like, fucked over for helping V, right? Like, Arasaka and or Militech came down on them to try and find her, right? I'm very surprised that that didn't go down, you know? Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Special appearance in Ayo Kojima. Yeah, I forgot he was in this. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, Lena Pierce. Where was she in this game? She was supposed to make a cameo along the likes of like Jesse Cox and um what's her butt? Maybe I missed her. Huh, weird. Yeah, the ending was pretty happy? I don't know. As far as endings go, not really the kind of ending that I would go for. Especially in a story like this. I'm very curious how the other endings go. I'd like something a little more bittersweet, right? I'm I'm a big proponent of like bittersweet endings. Though I guess it depends. Sometimes you can really earn like a really solid happy ending. I don't know. I I, I just have a penchant for like uh tragedy and misery. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm really curious how the others would go. I, I'm surprised that there was no big, um, like, set piece for our ending, right? 
I guess maybe that was breaking in through the Militech doorway barrier thing to get to the drill. Was that supposed to be our big set piece? I don't know. Like, I was really expecting it to be, like, us going into outer space, for whatever reason, would be, like, the big finishing set piece. And then we crash back to Earth. Like I said, like, Makoshi would be, like, the main part of it would be in space, right? I don't know. But also, yeah, going back to the ending, really wild how much it built up Alt as, like, an antagonist, right? It really felt like that was all meant to be like the middle part of a much larger story. Does that make sense? Seems so weird. Maybe it originally was, right? And they had to cut it short, right? Especially, you know, the showdown with, <coughs> excuse me, with Adam Smasher. Like it, like, honestly, I fucking forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> he legitimately shows up before then two other times at the beginning and then during that one Johnny mission. Very weird. Very, like, unsatisfying as a final boss fight, right? Definitely felt like more of a, like a, like a mid-tier, mid-game uh, boss fight and all that stuff, right? I don't know. I just, yeah, I think that once it introduced alt as being an antagonist, potentially, that just became way more satisfying to me, right? And what also happened to, um, what's his butt, Hellman? D didn't he survive the events of, like, all of this? Huh. And what was up with the, like, real-life horse shit? Not horse shit, but, you know, the, like, cowboy movie when we met, when we met, uh, Hellman. That was never explained, was it? What was the meaning behind that i thought we would that would like tie into some sort of theme or whatever maybe the movie that it is is important and i just don't know it i don't know maybe we're trying to read in for something that just isn't there right that for whatever reason maybe they wanted to have plans for something like we said um but they just couldn't get it done in time right so they had to cut it short i don't know Really weird. <laughs> really weird shit. Right? I'm really tempted to... I guess if they wanted, they could make it to where, like, whatever ending you chose was completely faked by alt. Right? If they wanted to go that route, they could totally do that. Huh. But yeah, overall... Um... I don't know. Clearly, the... Yeah, like we've said before... I mean, what what else is left to say throughout our playthrough except to, um, like, summarize our thoughts, right? Um, overall, the main storyline stuff is, like, definitely by far the strongest parts of the game, right? Like, all the main story quests and then all the, the uh, like, side gigs, side missions spinning off of, like, important characters, right? You know, like, like for example, all the characters that we saw that uh, showed up right there at the end. They, they all had pretty solid stuff, pretty solid character writing, which I've always thought has been um, CD Projects, CDPR's strong suit, right? I mean, after all, I, I think that's what really, like we said before a couple videos ago, I think that's what really did them favors in Witcher 3 and elevated an otherwise kind of middling role-playing experience uh, to, like, immense great heights is just like really good character writing and like just nailing atmosphere by way of like you know level design audio all that stuff right and here they did in this game they they didn't really leverage their that strength that they had as writing as a writing team right let alone the fact that like i don't think they really delved into a lot of what makes cyberpunk an interesting genre right like, I feel like there, there, you maybe could have done more with, with the concept of mortality and being turned into, like, a different person or whatever. I don't know. And may, maybe that, that happens in a different ending. I don't know. In a more, I don't know, somber ending than one that's so happy as, as what we had gotten. I'm not sure. Definitely going to look up all of the endings, personally, right? Very curious how they go. 
I've got a lot of things to, to watch after this is all said and done. If, by the way, if you're watching this, uh, feel free to, if you have any, like, interesting videos that analyze this game, feel free to let me know in the comments. Don't actually link the video, just give me, like, the full title, because otherwise YouTube's auto filter is gonna filter you out if you, like, post a link or whatever. But, uh, yeah. As far as, like, combat and stats, like, more mechanically speaking, like, devising your, your role within the world as a separate class, separate way of playing, um... I don't know. It got pretty samey toward the end. They're like the 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 balancing was all over the place, which is kind of I guess to be expected in a game like this, right? But I guess it it just bites a bit harder. It bites more that the balancing wasn't there because um I would say that that in this game Maybe that's the most compelling part of role playing because certainly in the in the main storyline, like you can't really role play as a different V, can you? There, you can't characterize V as a different person aside from when reactivity shows up for your like opening part. But even still, it funnels you in the same exact direction, right? There's very few moments of player agency where you're able to express like V is a different kind of person. Like we touched on, it would have been cool if there were moments to where, like, oh yeah, I'm I'm playing a V who does not trust themselves and is more keen to let Johnny take over. And that shows up in side missions, not just um, in, like, two or three main story missions or something like that, right? Or, like we said, it would be cool if you could align yourself more with certain gangs or corporations and there were some sort of faction system in that way. Right, you could play favorites, and like if you played favorites toward one gang or or corporation or whatever, then other others would like be really pissed off at you, right? <coughs> Excuse me. But as far as that goes, um, that kind of I don't know, choosing your destiny, I guess that level of agency really extends out only to romance, right? Yeah, unfortunately enough. Um, as far as systems in the world, in the game world, to make you feel like you're taking on the role of someone who is living in that world, right? Sort of like, you know, a Bethesda RPG or, like, vast majority of immersive sims or immersive sims that are RPG adjacent, like I said, Bethesda RPGs, um, f came really fucking short. It's probably the most bare bones in that department as far as an RPG goes. Those are sort of my three, like, main pillars upon which I think role-playing games are built right you know your traditional one where you're like like a like a classic like your your classic case of a crpg right where you're making decisions in the narrative and there's reactivity to how you're like making choices and building your character and there's reactivity to that right very much in line with like a with like playing old school tabletop role playing games right like very dnd that would be the first the second would be like mechanically feeling like you're taking on a different role right so here that would be like different builds and specs so you can go, right? And then the final one would be the world feeling reactive enough and having enough systems at play to where you feel like you're a person who is living in that world, right? You're taking on the role of a person in this world, right? And that's that's by far like the worst part of this game. Like the, the systems in the world and all that are pretty fucking bare bones, right? Which Which, like we said a while back, it totally makes sense, like, if you're cut short for time, if you're developing this game and you need to cut shit out, those are probably some of the first things that you're going to cut, right? Like, my god, what a... What a game where it is so obvious the impact at which, um... The impact of them being rushed, right? I don't think there's a better... Ex is there a better example of, like, a major title where they were so very clearly set back by having a li very little amount of time to work on the game. I don't know. Like, there's the opposite, where, um, with New Vegas, right, with Fallout New Vegas, where by some miracle they made that game in, like, less than two years and it turned out good, right? But, of course, in that case, right, they already had, um, 
a lot of the work done from like the engine and assets made by Bethesda with Fallout 3. Sorry, I'm going to take a drink here. <coughs> but yeah, really wild. Um, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? Yeah, no big set pieces toward the end. I was really expecting like going into space. Um, I wonder if they're going to have alt set up as an antagonist in the DLC or maybe future game. And I really wonder if alt was originally intended to be like the primary antagonist of this game, right? And they just had to cut it short, right? And instead play it like, oh yeah, little cliffhanger there for you with what's going on with alt, right? Because in the final moments, it really seems like that's what it's building toward, you know? Um, also, as far as mechanics are speaking, right? I was talking about how, like, a lot of it felt samey. Like, even when we were melee build, we did not have to use, like, any of the melee stuff whatsoever. We could just, just go through punching and stuff. We didn't have to no counters or anything like that. Um, I still think that maybe the most satisfying way to play this game would be stealth. I would say, but like I said, it really depends on the level design, because I'm fairly certain there are a few levels where, like, stealth just isn't an option. But I feel like you have the most tools there, right? Maybe hacking, because you're making more use of more tools and all that? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um... We're on version 1.3 now. We've been playing it pretty much since release, right? Pretty wild in and of itself. Especially with how how not far it's come in that amount of time, right? And they've they've continued to make mistakes, right? We we've seen the exact same mistakes being perpetrated against the development team, right? Where management has once again made deadlines and tried to put out roadmaps for their for the development team. And the team is just not able to make those fucking deadlines, right? They keep doing it to them. They need to fucking stop that. They're, they're like running those people into the fucking dirt. And a lot of them are bleeding off and quitting and shit, right? Like, it's so fucking bad what they, what's going on there. Like, holy shit. Definitely, no, I, I put very little blame, if any, on, like, anyone who isn't in a managerial role or whatever, right? If it's so clear that so much of it falls on on the backs of like managerial staff or whatever, right? Or um what would you call it? Uh CEOs, I guess. The board of directors, right? Very infamously brought up in conversations in with regards to Cyberpunk. Um would I play DLC for this game? I'm not sure. It really depends. Right? It depends on if they can really turn things around. So, f where where we're standing right now, from where from where we're sta standing or whatever, from where we're sitting, I would say no. I would say no. But in the past, with Witcher 3, they had such an amazing track record with their DLC, with their expansion content. Right? Maybe they can do something here where they completely turn things around. I don't know. Um... Weirdly, I would be interested in, like, a multiplayer, almost Grand Theft Auto Online version of this, right? Go light on the story and all that, but um, actually flesh out the mechanic systems, right? Because I feel like there is promise there, but there's just... It's just filled with bugs, and it's poorly balanced, right? With regards to, like, the way you're mechanically interacting with the game, right? Right. Like, a lot of the talents still just do not work. A lot of the perks that we've encountered still do not work. They're still working on getting that shit fixed. Um, also, I think it would be cool to be able... Like, if you're in a multiplayer version of the game, it'd be cool to have, like, you know, you customize the look of your character, customize your car. But, of course, you have to get all those systems running and working, right? Because they sure as shit are not in the single player. Right? There's no cosmetics tab for your character's appearance. You can't even recustomize your character. Uh, vehicles and stuff, completely uncustomizable, despite there being, like, multiple skins of the same vehicle. Same goes for weapons. There's, like, clearly different paint jobs for weapons, even though you can't, like, repaint your weapon. Would be nice to be able to upgrade your apartment, cosmetics and all that stuff there. And, of course, you, 
you, you you could like monetize that shit if you wanted to. Which, if this game were received better, if the single player component were received better, people would be a lot more accepting of them making a multiplayer version that's got a little microtransaction stuck in there. But now after this, after the disaster that is this release, <laughs> they're gonna like fucking be hit with a lot of bullshit, right? They're gonna be ran through the ringer if they attempt that. Which, I don't know. I don't know if they would even attempt it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how else they would monetize it. They would just have to sell it. At which case, like, do you even make it a, like, game as a service? Which I believe was the original plan, right? To make it similar to, like, Red Dead Online or Grand Theft Auto Online? To be their own version on it? Be, like, a consistent source of revenue? I don't know. <coughs> Let's see. What else have we got? Jeez, all this talking. Really got my cough worked up here, huh? Um, after this, with regards on, on a more le meta level, with regards to the channel, uh, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, Baldur's Gate 1, will take the spot of it, right? We'll move that down. It'll come out in the evenings, and that will go up to, like, a full-length sort of video thing, so it'll be increased by, like, half an hour, 20 minutes, whenever that video, those videos come out. Been having a lot of fun in Baldur's Gate, right? Um, let's see. Hmm, anything else with regards to that? No. Well, thanks, as, of course, as well. Thanks to everyone who watched this playthrough, what, even if you just joined us for the very final one and wanted to hear my thoughts here at the credits. Thank you, nonetheless, for um, checking it out. Very humbled and honored by that. Uh, thanks, of course, to anyone who, like, left a comment, you know, left a like. Always helps with, or subbed, stuff like that, you know, that kind of stuff. The engagement always helps with the algorithm somehow. Especially on the very first video, I think. I think it helps most on the first video, because, you know, ideally that's the one that gets promoted and all that shit, right? Um, what else? Oh, yeah, throughout this, we launched a, like, we launched a Patreon, um, all the other things, coffee, PayPal, stuff like that. Thanks to anyone who, like, signed up on those. Appreciate that. Of course, very much meant to be optional, but just to say, you know, very much appreciate that. Um, let's see. What else? Hmm. I think that about covers it, right? Right? Yeah, I think so. It's been such a weird experience to play this game, right? <laughs> From, like, I, like throughout the entire playthrough, I've kind of addressed it, like, we're, it feels weird, we're, like, very much playing this game from, on, like, an academic level to see how, just, like, how it came together, right? Because this was, like, I don't know. I can't think of a, another game that ever had such a reception as this, right? That was so hyped up right and then failed to meet expectations in such a like miraculous way <laughs> right like it was it is it was mind blowing how far they fell from the mark right like even for me like a lot of the a lot of the bugs and stuff like fuck bethesda games are some of my favorite i'm i'm willing to look and sweep aside um, bugs and stuff, so long as they're not, like, critical error bugs that completely fuck you over, right? I don't mind that so much. It's, um, it's a lot of the stuff at the core of the game is just kind of, like, lacking or just straight up busted, right? Very clearly the result of them just not having enough time to iterate on stuff, right? Um, though you do run into issues at, at some points with, like, how the writing is done, right? There there are some things. I don't know. Maybe, maybe with regards to writing, you have an editor who catches, like, weird shit. Like, um, like certainly the game has come under fire for um, being transphobic and shit, right? Having, like, I've, I've definitely called it out for having, like, l been a little iffy with regards to racial representation, right? I don't know, maybe that kind of stuff gets addressed better if you have an editor who can really work around shit, right? I don't know. I don't know. Because it, it definitely, they definitely read as them wanting to try and do it. But then, right, like we've seen, I forget when it was, 
but there have been multiple points throughout this playthrough where they'll do something really good and interesting, right? But then it gets kind of thrown away a quest or two afterward by something else being like, on the flip side, just as shitty as something else was good, right? I don't know. It's so very inconsistent, right? Which maybe is the hallmark of a project that is so very rushed, right? Is that it's inconsistent. Because like we've said, like on a, even on a technical level, right? There's all the fucking technical bugs and stuff. Um, but the new face tech and stuff that they worked on for this game, right? That was a big thing in some of the trailers. Because I, like I said at the very beginning of this, I was excited as fuck for this game. I was so excited, just like everybody, right? I, I can't even think of anyone who was not excited for this shit when it was on the horizon. But, um... The face tech was one of their big trailers of how they got a whole bunch of the, like, faces to look in the game. And we're not even running on, like, high graphics. And I thought, yeah, a lot of that, especially faces rendered during some of the main story uh, moments and all that. Like, um, I remember the first time it, it really popped out at me was with Evelyn, Evelyn Parker, in some of the early missions. Like, some of that shit looked incredible, right? Or the way, like, you go into photo mode and... It, it renders up a really impressive version of a character model, right? And it seems pretty decent at scaling it back or like how the city looks and shit, even without me running in RTX because I just don't have a uh, an RTX card. It still looks pretty decent. It's just so weirdly inconsistent, right? Oh, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, anything else about this game? We got a lot of... Uh, Lot of fucking credits, huh? That's to be expected of a game of this size, right? Hmm. Anything else? Huh. They they put out that roadmap, but I'm pretty sure they said that they're not sure, right? They're not they're not sure that they're going to be able to meet the roadmap's dates and all that, right? They even said that they were going to do like um the next gen version. For the next-gen consoles, for your Series XS, for your PS5. They wanted to do that for this game. But um, I, I want to say it was expressed somewhere that they weren't sure they were going to be able to get it out in time. Right? Um, and then also, I think with the Witcher 3 next-gen versions, they said that they were planning to do it this year. But then they had to go back on and be like, well, maybe we maybe we, we aren't going to be able to do that, right? Good God. And, like, it's really wild, too, because, I don't know, hindsight is is uh, is 2020, right? They could have said, like, it's easy right now for us to look back and be like, they could have just said, yeah, we're going to have to delay it again, right? Because they already delayed the game a shitload, remember? But they could just say, yeah, COVID happened. You know, the global pandemic that is, like, super fucked up. Uh, we have to delay the game again off of that, right? Even if they were already thinking of delaying it before uh, the pandemic really, I don't know, blew up. They could have they could have totally scapegoated it, even if they, if they wanted to. I don't know. But like I said, hindsight is um, 2020. And I'm, I'm certain that um, they would have ran into some deep shit with investors... But on the flip side, in releasing it the way that they did, they sure did run into some deep shit with investors, didn't they? <laughs> I'm almost positive, didn't they get, like, multiple lawsuits against them from their own investors? Like, what the fuck? Holy shit. Completely wild. Just shit just going left and right. My god. Um, Trying to think of what else. Huh. Anything else that we need to cover? Well, they, there it was just showing the or right, right now, it's showing the, the music stuff and all that, right? Um, we could reiterate back on, like, what we said a few videos ago, or several videos ago at this point. It's difficult to make a song in a game, right, to where, like, in-world it's supposed to be a really popular, really good-ass song, and then you're making an original song for the game, because you can't guarantee that that song is going to hit on a meta level in real life in the same way that it's intended to hit in canon, right? It's so difficult. Like, it's it's such a difficult ask. And honestly, I, I would not have even attempted it, right? I don't know. I mean, that 
like like we said, the the dude doing the samurai songs does not even sound like Johnny Silverhand, or at least Keanu Reeves is Johnny Silverhand, right? Which that in and of itself, what a way to like spend the budget. Jesus. Oh, what a <laughs> just what what a mess all around, huh? Good God, just soak it in. Just soak in the the disaster of it all. Oh, I am really looking forward to um, looking at some of these analysis videos, right? Maybe not so much the ones with that focus on bugs because I'm I'm fa fairly certain I've seen most of those already, and certainly we've seen our fair share just as well, including new bugs that prop that cropped up along the way, right? When we start playing this, that slow reload bug did not exist. That's new. That's a new feature with uh, 1.3, the slow reload bug. That's brand new shit, right? Which is once again evidence of them being rushed. To release these patches right that the writing is on the wall once more right they didn't have time to fully check through everything right though that said of course with some bugs right like there's no way for a team of like qa although q like i think qa is fairly effective right but there's no way for a team of qa to detect everything the same way that like releasing a full game would be able to detect issues and like errors and all that right but uh, I guess it's it's more so the look of it in conjunction with everything else going wrong, right? <laughs> Good God. Man. I guess my, my biggest, weirdest thing with this game is I'm not sure what it's trying to be, right? Like, parts of it with the open world and stuff, it leans into make me thinking that they wanted to go for more of, like, an immersive sim, maybe, like, um, with regards to like a Grand Theft Auto or a Red Dead or even like a Bethesda game, right? Have like an open world with a lot of systems at play. But then they ended up having to pull all the systems out at the last minute because they just didn't have time to develop them or whatever. Right? So they all of it got cut super short. I don't know. And then with the main story stuff, like, holy shit, the, the storyline would have been... Even with my hangups with the storyline... I, th I feel like it would have been so much better if they cut out, like, I don't know, 50 fucking percent of, like, the side quests, which were just bullshit, like, involving throwaway-ass characters that hardly ever come up again. Like, the stakes are, like, non-existent with them, right? I don't know. Like, we had so many side gigs and shit where we just met a character and was like, yeah, go and do so-and-so for me. It's like, I don't know or give a shit with who this is. Right? And it doesn't have anything else backing it up, right? Because certainly there's other games that have side quests and shit where there are, like, throwaway characters who it's like, yeah, I don't give a shit about you. But in some ways, um, it makes up for it in other in other areas, right? Like, um, like for example, we're playing Skyrim right now. Um, you Maybe you get a, a stupid-ass side quest in a town... For a character that's never going to have any importance anywhere else in the entire game, right? But maybe that side quest ties into something that fleshes out the world and builds on lore for that area or for, like, this group of people, their culture or whatever, right? And even if it doesn't, at the very least, in, like, a Bethesda game, you can count on it being fun to go out and explore, right? Which this game is awful at right which is why i don't i don't even think that they're they're attempting that i would assume right i would assume that they're not even attempting to go and have like the world be fun and interesting to explore right like at at first it was cool to jump around on top of um like the shacks and stuff in um what was the area kabuki i forget but remember like the one of the waterfront areas and stuff that was cool but I mean, what, what are you really finding up there, right? You're not really finding anything. It begins to get fairly samey. I don't know. And maybe maybe that's an issue with me. Maybe it clicks better with other people, right? Maybe a lot of these things that I'm bringing up just personally didn't click with me. Like, for example, like I didn't click a lot with a lot of the, I don't know, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the overall vibe, right? I don't know. Like, I wasn't digging the, the vibe of the game until 
like some of the uh, well a lot of the final mission i thought the vibe was was really spot on and cool right when we were going into arasaka and all the shit with alt i thought that was really fucking cool ass shit right i thought that was the kind of cyberpunk that i was i was expecting and interested in right and maybe that's on me for expecting that when that just totally is not what was delivered at all right i don't know and that's even like a, at a very aesthetic level, right? To be clear, that's that's at a very aesthetic only level, like not even with regards to, you know, meta textual meaning or whatever with regards to the writing and shit like that. Right. I don't know. Man, these credits are long as shit, huh? I'm going to like lose my voice talking this much. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Look out, Morrowind Monday is canceled for next week. <laughs> I'm just not going to have a voice after this. Fuck me. Let's see, what else is there to, to speak about, to talk about? Ooh, I don't even know. Did that say transgender people right there? As like a special thanks, just in general, to transgender people? Is that what that said right there? Which is really wild given how much fire this game came under from transgender people for it being shitty toward them, right? <laughs> Literally, like we said in the first video, the fucking social media manager when this game was coming out, uh, whoever was running that was being, was full of shit with regards to like talking shit about transgender people, right? Making dumbass jokes that people have heard a million fucking times before. Like, fuck me. <laughs> Once again, the inconsistencies, right? There are probably a lot of really cool ass people working there who did want to do something good, right? But inconsistencies strike again and no one was able, I guess, to squash shit. I don't know. It's so fucking weird. Like such such mixed signals, right? Very difficult to read. What a what a weird ass game. <laughs> what a fucking weird ass game. Oh shit, I guess this is the end. I guess, what what better of a note to end it on? I look at this. Congrats, you've completed the main storyline of Cyberpunk 2077. But remember that Night City never sleeps. There's still so much to see and do. Oh, is there? I'm pretty sure I fucking did it all. You can continue from your last open world checkpoint, where you will have a special reward waiting for you. Would you like to keep playing? Oh my god, sure, just one more gig. What's my special open world reward? Oh, what could it be? Oh, do you have any idea? Oh, how exciting. We'll be able to change the appearance of Johnny again. Oh. Mm -mm. It's loading quite a bit. Oh. Where are we? Okay. Oh. Here's your reward. Congrats, you've completed the main storyline of Cyberpunk 2077. Available in your backpack. Amnesty. Gorilla Arms. What? Access token? A key to a room on the Ibunike. What is that? I don't even remember. Isn't that for Johnny's car or something? We already got that though, didn't we? Sorry, I'm taking a drink again. Out of Caldos jacket. Militech Berserk, Mark V. Huh. <coughs> there we go. Meet with Hanako at Embers. And there it is. Wow. Alright, well. That does it. Cyberpunk 2077. Complete. 100% as far as I, I'm concerned, right? Good lord. Like I said, definitely gonna look up those other endings and all that. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in for all this. <laughs> I gotta get out of here before I lose my voice completely. Uh, yeah. Thanks for everything. See you in another video, or at the very least, if, thanks for watching this one if you're never gonna watch another one ever again. <laughs> thanks so much, and take care of each other. <laughs>